What's going on guys? I gotta read you this comment because it just just barely came in and uh, right before I recorded this video and so I thought it was pretty funny. It says, this is from Happy X Gamer. It says, I was clapping with my both hands like a madman when I saw you manage to add a new column. So that is from my intersections video. If you guys haven't seen that, be sure and check that out. It's a great video and is, you know, a little bit more in depth on on how to actually build out columns within columns so definitely check that video out but thank you happy x gamer for the comment that was that made my day like i said guys my name is tyler here and be sure and smash that nice red looking subscribe button if you like today's video i really appreciate it and i appreciate when you guys like and subscribe it really helps me and just kind of motivates me so thank you guys so much also, if you haven't already, be sure and check out Elementor Pro. I have a link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. It's an incredible plugin, and some of the effects we talk about today are in Elementor Pro, so be sure and check that out down below in the description. It is just phenomenal. So with no further ado, let's just jump right into my computer here and uh, show you this effect. So this effect is going to be um, a motion effect basically so as we're scrolling down the page you'll want to watch like right over here I don't know if you can see my mouse there but right over there where that little star is so watch as we scroll down the page look at this this motion effect that happens I'll go again it just like brings everything together and kind of makes it all form together in this nice little column setup here we have an icon a title a text box and a button but see how everything is kind of just kind of um, kind of separated and then it just kind of all comes together and fits in there perfectly just like that. So that's the effect that we're going to be creating today and it's actually very very simple and I'm going to show you how to do it but um, if I'm not totally sure if this is for Elementor Free or only Elementor Pro. Um, I know it's for sure for Elementor Pro but I kind of found some mixed um, information on Elementor Free. So I, I'm guessing it is probably only a pro version feature. But let's go ahead and just show you how to do this. So it's very simple. You basically can move any type of elements anywhere on the page as you scroll using what's called motion effects. So let's just go ahead and add in an icon. We'll just simply recreate this, what I've done right here. Let's go ahead and add in an icon right here. And so we have this star here, and then we're gonna go ahead and we can obviously adjust these icons or design everything that we need here, but we'll go ahead and add in a heading right below this star here, and we'll center this so it looks nice and centered there, and then we'll add in a text editor here down below that, and that looks good, and then we'll just add in a button here, and again, all of these colors, all these styles are pulling from my global colors and global styles. If you guys are interested in videos about that, I have a lot on my channel. Channel, so be sure and check those out but let's go ahead and just center this button here and uh, yeah that looks pretty good we pretty much have recreated this same exact column um, just over here on the right hand side so now how does this actually work because when we scroll right now there's really nothing going on we don't have any kind of effect it's just you know stagnant on the page so it's just sitting there so let's go ahead and actually remove this column right here uh, let's see, let's just delete it, yeah, we'll just delete it. Okay, perfect, so we have that there. Let's go ahead and add a new column, so we have it back in our thirds here, and we'll just move it over here to the middle here. Okay, perfect, so to do the motion effect, you're gonna go into Edit for the element and go to Advanced, and then you'll wanna go over here on the left-hand side to Motion Effects, and this is a scrolling effect that I'm using. So we'll just click scrolling effect and turn it on, flip the little switch, make it blue there. And uh, just like the like button, you should always you know, hit the like button, make it blue there. Um, for this effect, I was using a horizontal scroll. However, you could use a vertical scroll, meaning when you're scrolling, the element will be moving on the um, up and down axis, so the Y axis there. Um, if you want the X axis or you know cross horizontally, you'll use the horizontal scroll. There's also other effects that you can do, such as the transparency, the blur, um, rotate elements or scale them. And so these are animations that are going to happen and you have a few controls over them, but basically we'll just go with the horizontal scroll. Now these are the controls that we have over the horizontal scroll. We can either scroll it to the left or to the right. So if we see when we select it here to left you can see it's already set there to the left 
and um, here we can adjust the speed. Now this is gonna be the speed of how fastly it moves in. Now it's going to need to compensate that it needs to end at a certain spot. So if it needs to be really fast, it's gonna start way over here, right? And then it's gonna move in really quick. If it's set to really slow, maybe it'll only be right here and it's gonna move in slow over that scrolling amount of time. So that's kind of how speed works. Um, let's just make it, I don't know, we'll just go six for right now. Um, viewport, this is the actual view of your page. So 0% is going to be the bottom and 100% is going to be the top here. So as you're scrolling down your viewport, your top point and your bottom point are moving down the page. So for this, I want this to be in place and stopped at 50%. So I'm gonna bring my top down to 50% there. So that means it's going to, as the as I'm moving down the page, it's going to be moving, moving, moving. When my middle of my browser or my viewport hits that 50% mark, it will be in place and it will stop and freeze there. Hence, there's no animation after that. Um, so basically that's, that's how it works and that's how we create this effect. So if we scroll now, you can see it's moving in. My browser hits that 50% point right about here and uh, it sticks there to the page. And when I go up, it moves back out, and that's how it works. It's it's just that simple. Now to create kind of this cool, like different, you know, all the pieces are coming together type effect, you can go ahead and hit edit and advanced for the title. Let's go over to motion effects. We'll turn the scrolling effects on, horizontal effects. Um, we'll set this at a different speed, and we'll go ahead and drop that down to 50%. Um, and this is going to the left. Let's go ahead and edit the text area, talk, the text box here, motion effects, scrolling effects, horizontal. Um, we'll set this one to a lot faster. How about eight? That sounds nice and fast there. And then we'll drop this down to 50%. And then the button will make, maybe the button will make slow because that's our call to action. We want people to be sure and see it right when they get to the page. So we'll make the scrolling effect here set to, oh, I don't know, maybe 1.5. And then set the viewport to 50%. Perfect. Okay, now here's what it looks like in action here. We can actually view this page. Let's just go over and look, take a look at it because this is honestly a really cool effect and just allows people to kind of interact a little bit more with your page. Now as we're scrolling, you see things come together and boom, just like that, it is all put together. Now if you'll notice, there is one thing I did want to show you here. The button right here is still moving while everything else is in place. And that's because we haven't, our viewport has not reached that button. Not the 50% halfway point has not reached that button until we get all the way down here. So let me show you, let me find where the actual 50% point is. It's probably right around here. So if you can see my mouse, when I'm scrolling, things are going to um, basically stop moving when my mouse reaches them. So as I scroll down, boom, I hit 50% point, the star stops moving. As I scroll down, boom, I hit 50%, the title stops moving. Boom, hit 50%, the text area stops moving. Oh, I was a little late. Um, but right there, and then when my mouse hits there, you can see the button stops moving. So if you want to, them all to hit at the same exact time, you would have to adjust the percentages a little bit. So the uh, so for this button, I would need to drop the percentage a little bit. So maybe make it like that. So as I scroll down, it's gonna hit about the same time. Oh, still a little much there, maybe 40%. So as you can see, boom, and it hits right about the same time as the text area here. So if you make all those little adjustments, you know, kind of stack them so it's it's less at the bottom and more at the top, then that will allow them to all hit at the same time. I don't know if you can see, it's just a small little difference, but um, that's basically how you use motion effects. And honestly, I think they're gonna bring, you know, a whole different, like, um, just interact, like this just interactive feeling to your site, which is really great and really what we want people to have is just kind of this, this awesome experience and kind of get the feel of our company, of our brand, of our, you know, just our aesthetic, everything, just this whole feel and, and we want them to capture that through the website. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button for more videos just like this about Elementor, Elementor Free, Elementor Pro, all kinds of different features, everything like that.
and be sure and check out the link down below in the description see what kind of price you can get for elementor pro um, like i said i think these effects are on elementor pro and so you probably be surprised when you actually check it out it is very reasonably reasonably priced and it's just an awesome awesome plugin so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next video take care